Hello, thank you for joining me today. We're reading through A Course in Miracles to Daily Lessons, and today we're on Workbook Lesson 228. God has condemned me not, no more do I. God has condemned me not, no more do I. My Father knows my holiness. Shall I deny his knowledge and believe in what his knowledge makes impossible? Shall I accept as true what he proclaims as false? Or shall I take his word for what I am, since he is my creator and the one who knows the true condition of his child? Father, I was mistaken in myself because I failed to realize the source from which I came. I have not left that source to enter in a body and to die. My holiness remains a part of me, as I am a part of you. And my mistakes about myself are dreams. I let them go today, and I stand ready to receive your word alone for what I really am. So this is a great lesson. Uh, just a reminder, uh, using different language. We are each individuated expressions of divinity. We forget that. We think that we're humans. We think that we can sin. We think that we should be punished. None of these things are true. We are individuated expressions of divinity and we are loved infinitely, always. So God has not ever condemned you, not in any way, shape, or form. So I'm going to read this whole lesson one more time. God has not condemned me, no more do I. My Father knows my holiness. Shall I deny his knowledge and believe in what his knowledge makes impossible? Shall I accept as true what he proclaims as false? Or shall I take his word for what I am, since he is my creator and the one who knows the true condition of his creation? Father, I was mistaken in myself because I failed to realize the source from which I come. I have not left that source to enter in a body and to die. My holiness remains a part of me as I am a part of you. And my mistakes about myself are dreams. I let them go today, and I stand ready to receive your word alone for what I truly am. And another comment I want to add is that uh, to remember that you are not your body, you inhabit your body. Your body is the housing for your spirit and your soul. And when your body ceases to function, you do not die. You change form, but you don't die. Your body ceases to function and you leave it behind. But you, the essence that is you, do not cease. So I hope that's uh, a valuable lesson for you today. If you'd like additional support, you can reach me at 907-351-3003. Message me on Facebook or on YouTube. And I'll hope to see you here tomorrow for the next daily lesson. Namaste and much love.